Hello and welcome to Inkscape. We're going to create um, a simple holly wreath uh, which will let us in the process look at some of the tools we use to draw stuff in Inkscape. So I'm going to start by making one holly leaf and I'm going to use this tool. It's the Bezier Curve tool which can also draw straight lines. Now if I just click at the corner points of my basic holly leaf shape it fills in the lines in between those points and I click on this square at the beginning and that will close the shape and there it gives us the dotted selection box around it to show that we're finished. Now these lines need to be curved so I'm going to go to this tool which is the path editing tool. There are my six points around the edges but I can now drag these lines to make them curved to make it look a little bit more like a regular holly leaf. And there we go. I could, if I wish, also drag these points around um, to just change the way the leaf looks. Once I'm happy, back to the selection tool and there's my leaf. Now I'm going to go to edit and copy that and then edit and paste. So I now have a second one. And I want to rotate that um, to put it al alongside this one. At the minute I have the resizing handles around the edges and if I drag those you can see it makes it larger and smaller. Um, I don't want to risk squashing it so whenever I do this I always hold down the control key and the key keeps things in proportion when you resize them. I'm happy with the size of this. I am going to edit the point slightly just to make it look a little bit different from the other leaf. And that'll do. And now if I click it for a second time these handles change to the rotating tools. The corners will rotate, <clears throat> the ones on the side will skew, but I just want to rotate, so I'm going to rotate that a bit, and then move it into position alongside the first one, and there's my basic holly sprig. So I'm going to draw a box around them both, I'm still using this selection tool remember, so draw a box around to select them both, and then if I do path and union, it will combine them together into one shape. So there is our basic shape for our holly sprig. Um, it's a little large for the size of our page, so I'm just going to resize it now to shrink it down slightly. That'll do. And I'm going to draw a circle as a guide for my wreath. Now again, I hold down the control key to keep it at a steady size. Um, that's about right I would say. I'll just move that back into view so you can see it. There we go. And now I'm going to copy this holly leaf um, with Control c on my keyboard. It's quicker than using the menu. And then I'm going to do Control v which pastes. And I'm going to do the Control v lots of times so I get lots of holly leaves all stacked up one on top of each other. That'll do. And now I'm just going to move these holly leaves around and place them around the edges of my circle. Of course you can rotate them so they don't all, don't all look the same. And continue doing this until your entire circle has a wreath of holly leaves around it. And I'll see you back here in a minute when I'm finished. Okay, so there's our holly wreath almost done. Now I'm going to take this circle and move it out of the way because I'm finished with it and just delete it. And I can bring my last couple of holly leaves into position to finish off my wreath. I can select these last few and just delete them because I don't need them. And now if I draw a selection box around the entire wreath I can combine all of those together to make one wreath shape. So if I go path and union, it's joined them all together and there is our basic holly wreath. Now if I click on the path editing tool, we can see how many points there are in our wreath. You can't see it in this video window, but at the bottom of my screen it says, um, excuse me, how many nodes there are, there's 187. Now I can simplify this by going path and down at the bottom of the menu simplify and that greatly reduces the number of nodes. Now there's only 95 so it's gone down by about half. 
I'm not going to reduce it anymore. If I did, it would cut faster because the fewer nodes you have, the faster it cuts. But if I go too far in simplifying this, it won't look like a holly wreath anymore. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And now I want to draw a bow. So again, I'm using the same tool and just marking out the basic points of my bow. finishing up in the square where I started to close the shape then use the path editing tool and just tweak these lines so it looks a bit more like a regular bow there we go now these corners I don't want them pointy like this I want them more rounded so if I click on one of them and choose this tool, the smoothing tool, it will round that corner off for me. So I'll do the same thing to all four corners. And I also don't want this corner here to be pointy like that. So select that one and do the same thing. And that rounds it for me. And now I can just adjust these to make it look a bit more bow like. There we go. And now I need to make a tail for it, so again I'll use the same tool, the Bezier tool, and just draw the basic points of my ribbon tail. Finish in the same place I started. I'm going to resize this to make it a little longer. That's about right. Um, and I can use the, the um, node editing tool, the path editing tool, to just go in and tweak these to make them look a bit more like the ribbon has been curled a little. Drag that that way a little bit. There we go. So now if I move that up into position, there, um, select both things. Now you can use the shift key on the keyboard and that will add the second thing to the selection. Do path, union, and there's our basic ribbon shape. It's a little large right now, so I'll just shrink it down. Again, I'm holding the control key so it doesn't go out of proportion. If I go to the bottom of my screen, I'll just pan down for you so you can see this too. Uh, bottom of my screen, I can click on red and that will fill the ribbon with red. If I now click on the wreath and click on green, it fills it with green just so you can get the basic idea of how it should look. And then I'll move this into position and there is our basic holly wreath. Now when I cut this or when I prepare this for cutting it in show cuts a lot, I actually wouldn't leave the bow there. I would put the bow alongside so that when I import my file into show cuts a lot, I can put green cardstock on my cutting mat here for the wreath and put some red cardstock alongside it to cut out the bow in red. Um, I hope that's been useful for you and it gives you a little bit more of an understanding of how Inkscape works. And thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.